and we're live guys so I'm at the shop and I was working because I have the worst Wi-Fi where I'm staying for the moment till I move and I thought now I need to go live from the shop so I have a clear connection and talk about why liver is liver dangerous to eat can you get vitamin A toxicity or you're eating too much liver can you have iron overload this is a new thing i've been promoting liver for i don't know six years and people are just now saying no you can get uh vitamin a toxicity because i think like frank tefano did which he was he used to be carnivore and i thought i would break this stuff down because a lot of people are very 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 confused as to what is the deal with liver so let's clear it up right now. Uh, what's up, Katie? Now, I've been eating liver for a very, very long time, maybe going on four years now, promoting it longer than I'm, the time I've been eating it. And I've been using retinol on my skin, which is 4% high percentage of vitamin A on my skin. So I want to explain all this kind of stuff. First of all, let's talk about the benefits of liver, and I'm going to pull up what it looks like to you guys. So let me pull this sucker up. Okay, all right, so we got all kinds of liver. Let me see if I get a better, that's like wet and wetness of it. That looks better, right? Doesn't that look good? Okay, let's talk about liver. Okay, so Brandon and, and Brenda and all this kind of stuff. I wanna talk about this subject because it seems like a lot of people are confused and I coach thousands of people. I've coached thousands, I don't coach thousands of people right now. I have coached thousands of people over the years. And I wanna tell you my experience with people and eating liver and organ meats high in vitamin A and also iron. Okay, first I wanna talk about was fabulous about the liver because I want people to not be afraid of it. Okay. So I have a course page today. I wrote a whole thing about liver. I'm going to take little inserts about this little, little, um, little things I wrote about it. Now liver is probably one of the most nutrient dense foods that a person can eat. It is a hundred times more nutrient packed with nutrition than like a muscle meat, for example. So in the carnivore community where people are just gobbling down ribeyes and ground beef, oh my God, please people stop doing that. Let me drink some water. Okay, so you've got B complex in it, you've got B12, you've got zinc, you've got copper, zinc and copper. You guys don't go run out and get zinc supplements when you can get it in food, especially balanced with copper. Okay. Um, it's it's got a lot of different mineral minerals like phosphorus, selenium. So for those thyroid sufferers who need iodine and selenium, you're gonna get the selenium from liver. It doesn't matter if it's fish or if it's beef or chicken or lamb. Uh, let me see here. It does contain preformed vitamin A or retinol. Carrots contain keratin. Our bodies do not, listen people, they do not convert keratin form of vitamin A into retinol, and that is the usable form of vitamin A. Okay. Um, so it's great for your skin, hence the reason why I used retinol on my melasma, which is great. Okay, and just skin wrinkles and all that. Improves collagen. I don't know if that's true, but that's what people say, but I can say definitely if I pull up my face closer at age 55, it has done me well. Let's see, let's go here. It has done me well at 55. I've been using the 4% um, uh, 
retinol on my skin for I think about a year and a half now. Let me see, Steve says I eat liver once a month or maybe half a pound, lamb liver, cook with onions, garlic. Oh no, they are vegetables. Ah, throw me out of the chat. Throw me out of the chat. Let's keep ex ex let's keep extreme. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. Hey son, gram humoru ik kvel. All right, let me get back to a little. Let's get back to our image of this beautiful liver because it looks good in the picture. Okay, let's see here. Um, so for those, yes, they can reduce wrinkles. And I was like, before I started taking retinol, vitamin A on my skin, I was like watching women who've taken it for like 16 to 20 years. And it's kind of crazy how good their skin looks on it. That's why, I, well, that's not all, the only reason why I started. I also started because it kind of keeps the melasma at bay. So it's got a good source of glycine, which we know is great for your gallbladder and to produce um, ADH. This is anti diuretic hormone so you guys stop peeing in the middle of the day or night um so it helps with the collagen under your skin but i don't know how it does that but i think it does do that uh it's got a high source of vitamin d so vitamin d is going to be higher in fish liver which is amaze balls all the liver doesn't matter if it's cheap goat fish uh chicken or beef has really a really good source of vitamin A. Yes. So let me pull up. I'm going to pull up this chart. Maybe I'm going to pull it up in a second showing you if you compare liver to like vegetables, how much vitamin A, I mean, vitamin C is in it. Vitamin C is so dope in liver. Okay. Let's uh, talk about what the problem is, okay, with liver. Because I eat it every day. Let's see where I am here. Okay. Oh, thank you, lazy Asian who says you're incredibly inspiring. Go 50s. Woo! Go 50s. Go 50s. It's not my birthday. Let me make me a little bit bigger here. Okay. Yeah. Hi, guys. Um... Now, um, see here. okay. Um, the problem is, isn't actually liver. The problem is your jacked up gut. If you have leaky gut or broken microvilli uh, on your intestinal wall, your small intestinal wall, often people or people who drink alcohol. Thank you, lazy Asian. Been to watch your videos at, um, at 50 years young. That's right, 50 years young. That's what I'm talking about. Um, love that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Problem is, is when you guys have leaky gut, and this can be towards anything, people who can't absorb their nutrition very well. So you can have high anything, high E, high A, high, uh, high amounts of different type of nutrition that you're constantly consuming. Like if you're taking multivitamins and you have high amounts of zinc and you're like, whoa, I'm having too much zinc in my blood. Some people just don't absorb their nutrients. So if you take like ketones, ketones should be in a range, a little tight little range, just like this. Because if you're above that range, they're just climbing with nowhere to go. And if you're below that range under here, you don't have enough of it. And that can go towards anything. So number one, it's your freaking jacked up gut. Okay. Number two, people have poor liver function themselves. It's a filtration system through the biliary duct system. All your shite, all your systems must function and filtrate properly okay another problem that you guys have is that you are taking multivitamins which is i freaking keep telling you guys how bad multivitamins are for you you're getting keratin 
large amounts of this type of vitamin A, and then you eat liver on top of that, that's when the body's like, wait, my gut's jacked. You're taking supplemental A and you're eating liver. Okay? For people who have taken large amounts of Accutane. Okay? This is the medication for um, acne. You're taking Accutane. Definitely your gut's going to be jacked up taking Accutane. And then you're taking large amounts of liver. Okay? That's when people, when the rubber hits the road and goes, <coughs> hold up, wait a minute. We're having problems here. Scotty, beam me up. We have a problem. I almost gave a liver away. That's awesome. Okay, there's another problem with people consuming liver on these diets. And that is the fact that people eat it like it's a muscle meat, okay? People are eating pounds. There's this guy who follows me on Instagram. And I'm like, I look at his stories. I'm like, dude, you, you cannot eat two pounds of liver. He's straight up eating like that much liver every day. This doesn't happen to everyone. But some of these people develop too much iron and too much vitamin A. Okay. Main reasons why people have Vitamin A toxicity isn't actually from liver. It's from certain medications that jack up your gut. It is from certain types of multivitamins or vitamins that are too high in keratin. It's people who are taking Accutane. So I just really want to preface and get it very clear that if you're eating two ounces, that's two fingers worth my people. That's all you need to get the nutritional value out of liver if you're going to have it every day, so, right? Because I'm putting retinol, vitamin A, 4%, which is quite high on my face. So I'm having two ounces every day. If you're worried about your gut wall, then you can have it every other day. You can even go up to four ounces every other day but those who are doing carnivore are eating bolus and large amounts of vitamin a coming from liver and you hit these categories leaky gut you've had accutane or on accutane you're taking multivitamins with keratin high levels of vitamin a and then then eating these and or having some kind of medications that make it very difficult for your body to utilize the vitamin A and you're taking in liver. This is very rare. My clients have been taking uh, liver for years and no one has had vitamin A toxic. I think it's called vitamin gnosis A. I think it's what it's called. None of them have had this happen. Can this happen? Absolutely. But it has not happened to the 6,000 clients no one's come back to me that I know of uh, reporting that there's any vitamin A toxicity. So that is one thing I really wanted to put out there to you guys. I hate multivitamins for this reason. You are stuffing a bunch of these synthetic things in your bloodstream. I mean, they're not all synthetic, but you're getting very high concentration of these whatever, vitamins or minerals in a capsule. So you always have to watch when you're not eating something that's coming from mother nature, like taking zinc because people want to boost their immune system and you're taking zinc without copper, that, that can create the same type of issues when you're having a zinc overload as you have the vitamin A overload. So that's the problem. Because people are more and more like, oh my God, should I even eat liver? I don't want to have like vitamin A toxicity. I'm like, you won't have vitamin A toxicity if you don't ha aren't, aren't in these certain situations, this certain context. And most people, most people, most, most people who are consuming organ meats, especially liver on the daily, are not having vitamin A toxicity. Now let's talk about the iron overload. Now I think, I do think it was... No, it was Frank Tufano. He developed hemochromatosis, right? 
This is this can be common with certain men. And I do think Frank Frank was I don't know what was going on with Frank Tafano. I know, you know, it's just rumblings and rumors. I know at one point he had a lot of acne, right? So you just you can only kind of judge by what you saw. He was looking a little juicied out. Okay, and I don't mean juicy couture. But we'll call it Juicy Couture. He was looking a little beefy Juicy Couture out. And he had acne. Okay, so if you put, men know what I'm talking about. When you put this and this together, you you know, there, there, there's a reason why he was looking, I'm speculating, why he might have been having acne and looking a little beefy. Okay. So the guy develops right after, you know, everybody's like, dude, you're looking like hella big. Like, what are you doing? Or what you taking? Right after that. Homeboy is diagnosed with hemochromatosis. Do not mess with your liver, your own liver on your body. Okay. Because if you do one stuff that weighs heavy on that liver and all of a sudden you develop hemochromatosis where you develop high levels of iron and that is really dangerous. It's just it's like, it's just like poisonous to have too much levels of iron that your body your body's not using the iron. It's just going higher and higher and higher. And then how much you can take, it starts to be too much. It's a problem. So, um, again, I've had no, no clients who have hemochromatosis. If you are a man or a woman, very rare, who develop hemochromatosis, which they don't really know why people do this, or develop hemochromatosis, high iron levels, you can blood lead. That's what people who are developed this and they say that if you have it, you have it forever. So some people who consistently still have like red meat, sometimes you got to donate some blood and get rid of all of that iron in your body. Now on the inverse, right? With women who've got low hemoglobin, ferritin levels are low, just low iron, kidney, liver, beef liver, chicken liver is amazing to bring up your iron levels. I don't know how many women are doing those dang drops. And here's the thing, you're taking iron and it, and, and to bring up your hemoglobin and pe women are like, oh, I got a blood transfusion or I took, you know, women who've got like fibroids or they have uh, endometriosis or they have um, Anna Maria or anything that's wrong with their menstrual cycle and they're just bleeding a lot. Yeah, you're fine to eat small amounts of raw liver a week. Come on now. Um, the liver is amazing. Like it's so good for your thyroid. It's so good for the vitamin D. You need vitamin D to make T3. You need vitamin C to get it into the cell. You need selenium because selenium must go with iodine. If you have iodine without selenium, you can create an iodine overload. It's a problem when you don't have the mineral and people are taking Brazil nuts. I'm like, why? Just eat some liver or eat some salmon roe or eat some oyster extract or, oyster or oysters. And don't forget to like up the stream, guys. I do not check to see who's liking, but it does help bring people to my very humble channel. Um, let me see what your guys' comments are here. Let me see here. Mm. How to fix a jacked up gut. Okay, I'll talk about that. Brandon, dang. Uh, Steve says liver is cheap in the UK. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. When I had my recent blood work, my vitamin A levels and B12 were high, not dangerously high. Doctor asked if I took supplements, said no, only meat and liver. Uh, like I said, if you're doing high, if you're doing carnivore and you're doing tons of ribeye and you're eating liver and you're not diversifying your food and your gut is a little jacked up, you're going to have some high levels of these things. Like I said, nothing dangerous, but a little high because your body's not using B12. It's not absorbing enough. It's not absorbing enough iron or vitamin A. I'm taking liver out of my freezer now. I need to get back to the game. Okay. <laughs> what? I know it's not unless it's European football. Uh, when I was 15, I had a malignant. What? Personoid tumor that made me severely anemic. So my mom fixed liver and onions all the time for my doctor, and I cannot even stand the smell of it now. I love it. 
I eat it. I've been eating it for years. Thing is, is I remember when I was younger and I had like heavy periods. I was living in Sweden. They do this thing called, I think it's called blood pudding. It's actually kind of good. The only thing is at the time they would mix pure blood with, I think, wheat or something. And it looked like a meatloaf block and you would cut it and it'd be mostly blood and you would put it on the pan and fry it. And that would help bring up your iron levels. And it was delicious. I mean, it was just divine. So I got to find a recipe for that for the, for a lot of women who have low iron or hemoglobin. Um, some people just don't absorb iron and their iron is low. Some people don't absorb iron and it's high. Uh, let me see. You're amazing, Stephanie. I truly appreciate you sharing your knowledge. Thank you, Brands Boutique. Thank you so much. Even though you can't still stand the smell of <laughs> liver today. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, some people don't absorb B12 because they have like an MTFR gene mutation. They don't absorb folic acid, which is... I guess B9. And they don't uh, methyl folate and B12 very well. So they'll, they'll try to take a methylated version, a more absorbable form of B12 capsule. But I kind of feel that if people would learn how to ground themselves, get outside, chew their food slowly. I did an interview. I'm going to take this off a little bit now. Well, hello. I did a, an interview because I'm doing real people with real stories. And I did an interview with this guy who's got so many health problems. He's got, uh, I think he's got SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. He's got tinnitus in the ear, which drives him bananas, like ringing in the ear. He's got like, oh, kind of weird stuff. And we're trying to fix, because somebody asked, how do you fix that leaking gut? And I was like, okay, he's got leaky gut. Like I said, you're supposed to have like these microvilli hair on the intestinal wall, and they help the food go slowly and finally into the bloodstream instead of being broken and then big holes are developed. And I'm like, okay. I'm trying to trouble because when you're doing when you have when I'm doing consultation, I'm trying to troubleshoot like what is this person doing? They're like, oh my god, I eat perfect and I'm sick all the time. Okay, well let's figure this out. I said, okay, are you fast eater or slow eater? He's like, I'm a fast eater. I'm like, okay, just something as eating really, 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 really fast, your body is now not digesting these big particles of food on top of having big holes in your gut wall. So you are definitely going to have this inflammatory response. Um, what helps the nodules on the thyroid? Now, I'm not a nodule thyroid expert. I'm going to bring my thyroid expert back. But I believe that the problem, Jana, with people develop, developing nodules on their thyroid is due to a couple of things. Number one, you're living in a toxic suit. You're not methylating. You're not getting rid of toxins out of your body. If you have any sort of constipation and people don't understand how dangerous constipation is. Now, a lot of people don't think that they're constipated because they poop every day, but they poop nuggets or they only get like a quarter of the poop out. That's constipation. I've got people saying, well, I poop like sometimes I miss a day. I'm like, you're constipated. They're like, no, 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 I'm not. I'm like, no, you, yes, you are. You're constipated. You got to open up the valves and let it out. So that's one. People who do not work out, who do not sweat out anything, right? People who've got poor biliary duct system where their their liver and their kidneys and anything's connected to their, their pancreas and gallbladder connected to that. And they're not able to filtrate and get things out or have poor lymphatic system and they can't drain fluid out. So these are... These are why things start going wrong with the, with the no, nodules. Um, it's really interesting. What's his name? Seafried, Dr. Seafried was talking about that people don't develop cancer from 
the genes, it's what you, yeah, Bren, exactly, Bren. A lot of people have issues with their digestion. I couldn't eat too much liver if I wanted to. If you are, see, the thing is, I just, I can't do, I can't, I can't deal with a grown adult. And this is where people get, I know I'm kind of digressing for a second because I'm going to finish answering this question about nodules. But when people say like, I can't eat too much liver, if I, I couldn't eat much, too much, I ju it just kind of gets under my skin. And there's literally nothing I have personal with Jeff Abbott because I don't know him. I'm just reacting to what he's saying. So people, it's so funny when people, there's a woman, she wrote on my channel the other day. She was like, Stephanie is like a an a-hole. And I don't mean vitamin A. She's an a-hole because like, you know, she did a video on coffee and she said, like, I was wrong and she was an a-hole about it. And she, she like infl conflated and inflated what her perception of how I reacted. Cause I might've been like, oh, you know, like four years ago when I was doing live streams and I'd stand up and I was all hyped up and I'd be like, nah, that's ridiculous. You can't, that's, you, you need to stop doing that. The problem is when people challenge me in a live stream, they, they don't like my, re the way I react, right? They want me to say it in a very PC way. So she's like, she's an a-hole. And I just thought, that's so weird. You're watching a late, you watched me years ago. You're still watching me. <laughs> if you don't like me, why, well, follow someone else who you feel is not an a-hole. So I thought I'd just say that. But um, this is where I'd say, this is where I look like an a-hole, Jeff, where I'm, I'm really not, but I'm going to sound like one. Jeff, first word. First world problems. If you were starving to death or you had a disease and the nutrition in liver was the only way you were going to survive, then you have to get over this fear of being too soft. I find humans today soft. I just find that they're weak, weak. And I even have this weakness. I don't know how many times in Texas I've been invited to go hunting and I'm like, whew. Like I start feeling stressed about it, just thinking about it. And I know that I'm soft. I know that I've been brainwashed to be weak, to feel uncomfortable with the idea of, of, of killing an animal. It's really hard. It's just a complete brainwash. It's a, it's a brain frack, right? A fluck. It's a brain fluck. But I can admit it. So I'm trying to find a way, you know, because y'all, what if, what if there are food shortages in the next year? I mean, I don't understand people. Like I'm literally moving from Hollywood, the most vain, pathetic, soft area of the planet. I mean, th these are the weakest people in the world. They are so spoon fed. They're walking around in complete la la land. That's what they call LA, la la land. And when shite hits the fan, where are they gonna get your food? If you only had liver and you were starving, that'd be the best damn liver you've ever eaten. So I don't understand these first world BS nonsense. Why aren't we talking about getting over the, the the matrix realities that were that we were raised in that made us weak ass humans that we are today. We are freaking pathetic. I'm pathetic too. We are all freaking pathetic. And I am trying my hardest to learn everything that I can to live 100% off grid. Right? Because with the Amish, they don't care what happens. As long as we don't and you see any place on the planet, you know, they fine. They'll be like, we don't care. You know, when I went to my property a week ago to get things organized, um, I'm like looking at the Amish on their little buggies and stuff. Cause I'm trying to get like fencing up. They're like, well, they have, they have, um, and I will talk about those thyroid nodules. I didn't forget. They have the, the sawmills. Thank you, Bryn. I they have the sawmills and I'm like, oh, then those where you get your wood there, it's so much cheaper because they just use horse and buggy. 
they're like, they've got carts that will carry the wood over. As long as you live, they won't go beyond a certain distance. But if you live, and I thank God they live right near me, um, then they'll just wagon the wood over and you, you know, you're fabulous. You can build structures with their wood because the area that I live in, there's a lot of trees. So there's even trees on my property where companies will come and cut down the trees. And if the wood is good, they'll use it and they'll mill it. So I just keep hearing people. It's, it's different. It's different from like five years ago when I lived in Hollywood and then people would be like, Ooh, disgusting liver. And I'd be like, well, you know, give it a try. Or now I'm like, yo, food from the mother earth is life. You have to get over it. Okay. Jeff's cool. Jeff's taking me in a good way. He says, uh, ha ha ha. I don't, I don't take that wrong at all. I hunted a lot in Colorado, by the way, I do eat it once a week, prepackaged. Okay. Well, that's cool. You just don't like it or something. Um, let me see. See, I totally agree with you weakness. Hey, you may like this book. I loved it. Total reality in the mind in the mid 1800s. Yeah. Yeah. After it, I'm, I'm a, was it van life or part-time myself only boot boondocking lazy. Oh, that's so cool. I, you know, before the whole charade of Rona Bona and people get triggered when I say that <laughs> I call it charade of Rona. I do the math. People get so mad when I say that, ah, I'm going to unsubscribe. That woman said, she's like, she's a biatch because she was mean when she told me that drinking coffee was BS. I'm going to unsubscribe. And I'm like, people are, I'm going to, the last time I'm going to unsubscribe because I say that there's what they're saying that I think it's ridiculous. In that last live, I was like, okay, so I can't say what I think anymore because you're going to unsubscribe. I don't even know who any of these people are. I know Katie because we speak on the phone. I've never met her. We speak on the phone. Ah, freaking glitch. This is supposed to be cabled Wi-Fi. Okay, make sure it's there. Anyway, be right back. Gonna get that book. Okay, thank you. Um, so I, I wanted to be a van lifer, and I was looking at vans. Yes, the Pro. Was it Pro Master? The, the Ram Dodge Pro Master. What was the foot? I was so into it. Oh my God! I ended up getting a RV. Um, bumper pool uh it's 31 foot livable with a bunker and all sleeps 10 people and i'm gonna redo that and do a diy but let's get back to the nodules yeah ram pro master 1500 that's what i was gonna get because it's like wide and it's you know and i was i had planned the whole thing i was gonna get like little shower and you know i was gonna do the whole thing and i wanted to drive around the u.s but um, when I got to Texas, I was like, girl, you need to go and spend your money on an RV. And that was the best decision I ever made instead of getting a van because the van would have ended up, ended up costing more, but the RV camper I live in is like big enough to be like a little tiny house and I will live on it. I'm moving to a property that has no house. So my RV that I've lived in for a year now will be my house until I build a house from scratch. I'm dreaming your dream, living your dream life. Yeah, it's not. That's why I want to like, uh, a, I want to evolve my channel to be more than just talking about like liver because <laughs> I just think I've got so much more to share. So, uh, the entire time I've been in this town in South Texas, I haven't had internet service to be able to do what I want to do. And the coffee shops close at like six o'clock. So I'm literally, when I move, you guys are going to see a whole new Stephanie. I mean, you're going to see the fur babies. You're going to see the DIY makeover of my land. Um, you're going to see me uh, 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 plant my first crops for the winter, especially when food goes crazy. I'm going to take you to my local 
uh, ranches. I'm going to show you my Amish workers that are going to come and help build some of the structures on my place. I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm figuring how to get out. Just get out to me to help you build your fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go to stephanieperson.com. I guess I should put up an email and do announcements because I'm going to have a fence build sort of fence build slash party slash uh, retreat where we're going to go over everything, how to cook food, how to, I'm going to go over everything. I've done many, many, many seminars. I, I did a, a one month tour in Australia before the charade of Ronabona. And um, yeah, that was a really fun tour and I put together a presentation. So I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm, I'm redoing all of the PDF files on my website and I'm going, it's basically my book just cut up into many, many things. Like you can buy the whole thing or you can buy just like what you're wanting to read about. And, um, I'm going to put that into a retreat, uh, that people can come and learn and then also learn how to work out because I used to be a personal trainer for 15 years. And I want to teach people how to do things more than just lift, but how to use your body and how to do calisthenics and all kind of stuff. Thank you, Dondi. Good to see you live as well. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole bunch of off-grid sustainable stuff because, you know, and I ride horses and I'm an ex-pro skater. I'm going to take you guys to the skate park and show you that it doesn't matter what age you're at. You can get your hormones I'm going to mix the two because you can get your hormones under control. Age, age is, it's glycating. Stop the glycating of your cells. Stop aging, but also um, how to get your hormones in balance and how to be a mother fucking badass. <laughs> Friends like smart to go off grid. I mean, I'm not going to be 100% off grid, but I'm going to go that direction. I want to try to make enough money to at least get like 15 solar panels. Yeah. And then I'll start, I'll start doing it, but okay. Nodules. Let's get back to that. Uh, a lot of people are deficient in iodine, selenium, vitamin D, vitamin C. Okay. This is huge. Sometimes people start from what I've learned, develop nodules because they don't even get enough iodine. Most people are not conscious and aware of iodine in their diet. Most iodine is coming from the sea. So kelp, seaweed, I used to do the seaweed, like strips and munch on those. Um, seafood, uh, oyster extract, salmon roe, fish eggs, all of them have a good supply of iodine and the selenium together if you don't react to them histamine wise. Um, people who are too toxic. So I also talked about the biliary duct system, liver, the kidney, the gallbladder, pancreas, things, and you don't poop. These are other reasons why people develop any type of growth uh, in their body. People who don't methylate, people don't drink enough water, people don't get enough toxins out, start to have cells freak out a little bit too much tox toxic exposure to pesticides and city living and the streaks across the sky, you know, in cities. Yeah. Uh, I look 19. I don't look 19, but I don't look, people are like, you look 48. And I'm like, wow, you really made me look young. Have you seen 48 year olds today? They look so freaking beat. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the young compliment. It's so weird because that whole age thing, some people, like people who don't know me, who've got, especially young people, young people are more, I always feel like young people are like, oh my God, you look like you're about 34 or 35. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. Um, it's people who are closer to my age that don't want me to be younger. Like if you're 48 and you're beat, they're like, you look, and they always make me around their age. So you look like if they're 47, they'll say, you look 48. You look really good for you. Like you look like forty eight. I'm like, whatever. Um, we're having glitches with the white ice and lines, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Think about incorporating fruits and sugars into the diet as opposed to grains. There are wait, wait, wait. 
there are a surprisingly large amount of savory fruits that can be turned into flowers or uh, replaced potatoes. So um, that would be a hell never. Do you know how many people develop fructose histamine responses, lectins in fruit? Unfortunately, sweet fruits are, are going to go straight to people's bogged down livers. People have bogged down livers. Fruits are not the answers. Today's fruits are selectively bred, hybridized, and genetically modified to have gross amounts of fructose in them and lectins. If you want to go and pluck some wild berries, which are growing on my property, awesome. They're going to be sour and not a bunch of sugar because once fruits become very sugary, bugs obliterate them, which does not fit with mother nature. It doesn't fit with mother nature until they're about to die. That's when they become the sweetest and have less of the anti-nutrients in them. So here's where I sound like a dick, right? But it is what it is. Mike B says, hello, queen. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So funny when you're online. Some people are like, love you. And some people are like, I hate her. She's just so arrogant. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I were arrogant, I would have stayed in L.A. And I would have been like, I'm L.A. And I would have like big, long fake nails instead of like dirt under my nails from being around horses all morning and <laughs> sweating my ass off doing all of this by myself. It's crazy, you know, like buying a property. All right. What about plantains? No, a real plantain is unedible. It's disgusting. That's also very genetically modified. Anything in that banana family, a real plantain is unedible. I dare you to go get a ripe plantain that is not selectively bred or hybridized and chew on it. And you can be <laughs> And Brenda says how to fix jacked up gut and prevent it. Okay. Well, I'm getting a lot of questions here. Okay. On ketovore, which is, I guess, high fat carnivore, you mean. Uh, and working out in hit with hit high intensity training. How much sodium do you suggest we consume right now? I do about three to four teaspoons. If you do lazy Asian three to take four teaspoons in your body, you are going to fluck yourself up beyond belief. See, I sound like a dick. Yeah. It's really bad for you to do that. Your body can't absorb three to four teaspoons. Dare I say, first of all, I don't like HIIT training. I don't like high intensity interval training because a lot of you guys have adrenal issues. So push your body to the absolute end umpteenth degree. And then people have medulla, right? Hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal access issues. So not my favorite to do that type of exercise. You have to be so solid in all of your systems to do high intensity interval training. It's not, a, sounds like a good idea, but watch how many people have got issues managing their blood sugar, managing their adrenal responses. So that's the problem with cortisol. People don't sleep and then you're doing high intensity interval training. So that's one thing I don't like. The other thing is if you're sweating a lot, like I will go and sweat a lot because South Texas, we've had, it's going on two months of over hundred degree temperatures. I cannot believe this. I remember in California, it was over hundred degrees without humidity for two weeks and we were dying. It's months of this crap. And I sweat so much. I've never sweat so much in my life. And I still have never hit three table teaspoons of salt. I might hit and I know when I don't have enough salt because my legs swell up. So basically when you don't eat enough salt, your body tries to hold on to it and you swell. Um, when you take too much salt, you swell and it drives down your potassium. So you start to develop a heart palpitations when you're having too much salt. Uh, it's around a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half through the entire day with food in which you add to water or whatever. 
I'm 62. Oh, Jeff, I didn't know you're 62. I'm 62. People don't believe it. Yeah, I don't know. Jeff feels like a younger energy, even though I don't have no idea what he looks like. I don't know. I just figured you'd be younger. So awesome, Jeff. Awesome. Pink, pink, <laughs> pink, pink Himalayan salt. Yes or no? Yeah, you just got to go and find a good quality. Like when you're, when they get cheap, you know, you're getting like these metal bits in the pink Himalayan salt. So you just got to find the one that you like. I tried iodine, iodine drops are absolutely poisonous. Do not touch those. And he said they actually, because it's potassium iodide, you don't take that stuff. No, 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 no. Mike B says, you're so right, queen, queen, keep it, keep it a hundred. Uh, doing all the uh, alone really impresses me full package. Yeah, thank you, Graham. Yeah, I'm doing it alone. You know, I've got, I'm going to, I'm so, I think I answered the, I'm going to answer the gut thing. But I have a friend, she's got horses too, back in California. She's like, I want to do what you're doing. Like, how do I, do, how? She's like, I want, she's like, how are you doing it? I was like, it's so awful, you guys. This is awful. When I get settled, you know, I'm like, because like they really have jacked up the prices right now, fencers and I can't fence the whole property. I can only afford two acres. Did you know that these people are charging $6,000 for two? I don't even think it's, it's a thousand feet. A thousand feet. It's nothing. Six grand for wired bob wire fencing. Okay. I thought of doing the hot wire thing. I'm too scared because they say that, um, like if a, if a, if a cherry branch hits the wired fencing and breaks the connection, then your animals can go, or it just scares me to just use hot wire. I can't just use hot wire, especially my property. It's got different terrain on it. It literally feels like a national park. It is not just pasture for animals. It's got a front pasture, right? I can pull it up on my phone. Actually, I can pull it up. Wait, let me show you guys my property. I forgot I can pull it up here. Hold on one second. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. Oh, I love my property. These are winter pictures too. This is from the real estate. Oh my God. I just love this property. Freaking love it. Oh my God. Okay. Let me, let me, um, oh man, I'm going to run out of battery soon. Shoot. And I forgot my charger. Hold on guys. Okay. Let me move this one sec guys. So you fix up, fix up your jacked up gut because you, first of all, you have to like, the thing is you have to get sleep because your body, the gut's going to rip that, that this open holes tighten at night, especially between nine and 3 AM. Okay. What other of these carnivore people or keto people are talking about this stuff? Okay, some, they bring on specialists and they might mention it, but they don't package it all together. Right. You have to get that circadian sleep. You have to have the sun hit your eyes when you're waking up and allow this, the natural light to hit you as you're going to bed. Some people wear blue blockers in front of screens in the daytime just to, to retrick your brain, to be connected to more nature. You have to find out if you've got hypoglycemia or not. I don't know if you are, you got to find out what your blood sugar is, your A1C. Um, gosh, there's so many things on how to heal the gut wall. It's a huge subject. It's a massive subject. You have to take it like a series, like, you know, biliary duct system to digestive to, you know, your flora to possible probiotics to prebiotics to, God, there's so many things like your chakras, like there's all kind of stuff. It has gone, so, right? Six grand. So how can I spend money to, to, to fence 10 acres. I can't to buy, to buy the supplies for 10 acres is about four grand, right? Just the supplies, but to have somebody come and fence it for you, 
they're going to charge you $20,000 just for the labor. That's why I'm like, if I get like eight to 10 people and it's basic, it's not hard. You, you nail the T-post in, you drive the right wire through the next T-post, drive it through that one to the next one. It's not hard to do. It's like when I called some of the stores that, you know, tractor supply, they're like, I'm like, who does fencing? They're like, oh, well, we, I just have my cousin. I just have my cousin do it. I'm like, okay, why would you be eating? Cause okay, why would eating cause my blood sugar to drop immediately? It was 91 because I was eating and dropped to 80 to 20 minutes after I was eating. You don't test 20 minutes after it's your insulin, by the way, insulin's going to make it spike or drop. So I just need to know more. I wouldn't test 20 minutes. I would test uh, every 30 minutes until you reach two hours for histamine and two hours period after meals to see if it's looking close to your fasted number. I definitely have a vertical lines in my fingers, fingernails and breakage between the low wait, bin, wait, breakage bin on low carb for six months. What's your thoughts? Uh, Sherry, it sounds like you're having some mineral deficiencies. You're probably eating a lot of the wrong foods, not adapting, might be putting holes in the gut wall, doing it the wrong way. Um, Okay. I drink water. Stephanie, drink water. I gotta go feed my horses soon. Okay. Oh, you guys look at my place. Oh my God. I love this. I love. Let me see if it's pulling up. Look at that, you guys. Let me put this, let me put me smaller. I can't speak English. Make myself smaller. So that's the pasture grass area. Just that area is $6,000. Just that. Are you kidding me? And those are winter pictures, so it's all really, really green now. I'm not a mechanic, but I learned a lot, you jacks. I restored my, I restored mostly my new, my old, new now new truck. Uh, myth, myth, what she said says thank you for the information uh, info about fruits i wanted to switch to fruit because it, because of grains you don't need to use grains you can use like coconut flour that's a fruit uh coconut flour or flax meal for your flowers you see i hear heard wait, no wait, blah, 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 uh, uh. but i heard pure no carb can cause fatigue oh i'm pure no carb starch starch and if you do that's how you get into ketosis and it won't cause fatigue clearly because that's got some energy 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 okay uh so this is the um the front part right i need to do a video just on this so i can get some volunteers dairy yeah you can do butter that's dairy uh no cheese though uh where would it crave soil and dirt oh minerals you're not getting enough minerals Beautiful, can't find. Okay, so let me, let me um, show you more, okay? So, wait, wait, wait. Here it is, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this this part is about, it's not quite two acres. They want $6,000 to do that, right? So that's where I'm gonna be living in the front. Now, if I go to the rest, go back to the gallery. Okay. Uh, Okay, so here's the fresh water. Look, you guys, I got a fresh water stream on my property. Look at that. The horses are, now this is all green right now. It's super, 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 super green right now. So this is, the, that water divides the front area near the street. Now the, the right side of the image goes up a hill. And that goes up like 60 feet. I'm going to build a house up there. Um, the bob wire line is going to, finish at the creek it's actually a drainage thing but it's a creek okay um let me go back to the gallery um, come on just go back just go back hello okay now i've got pine trees i love look at this place my land looks like a national park this is Tennessee, you guys. Those are pine trees in the front. Let me get back. 
I'm going to show you guys on my phone because those are just from the, um, those are from the, the website, the whatchamacallit site. I forgot what it's called, where my house was being advertised. I mean, the house, the land. Lord have mercy, Stephanie. Put it together, pull it together. Okay. So this is how green it is now. Look how green that is. That's how green the back part. So that's the back part, right? That is the back part. It's like a canopy. Um, it's just so pretty. There's the back part. I want to show you guys the hill. So that's a trail that goes up the mountain. You hear all my keys jangling all around. So that's the back part. And then we see the sunlight, that's the front part where the pine trees are. So I'm gonna be riding, there's trails through this hole. So the, when I'm, I'm walking up a hill now, I call it my mountain, and my mountain has, it's five acres. It's, it's uh, the whole thing is about 10 acres. So now I'm going up a hill. Now I'm going back down because it's just too, it takes about 15 minutes to walk around or 15 to 20 minutes to walk around the whole property. So I'm just, I'm going back down the hill now. Yeah, all there, that's brush. I gotta clear it out so I can build a house up there. Okay, so the place has an RV cover on it already. Let me show you guys. So I will be living under that. So that thing is about 22 by 50 feet long. So it fits my two cars and it fits the RV in a little space for the horses to stand under, but I really need to build a shelter for them for the rain. It's two minutes from town. I think it's like three miles or some, or no, two minutes, two miles, or it's, it's very, to the very edge of town, it's like one mile, it's not even two miles. You see nice land, seen any large, white? yeah, there's deer. Deer roam my property every day. Lots of deer. So there's deer. That's all I could afford was the 10 acres. And I think that I found a place that was 20 acres. But when you're by yourself and you got that much acreage, you can't manage it all. And I can't, I have animals. So if I can't fence all of it, what's the point of having it? I don't want to have land that my horses can't run around in. That's the reason why I created a donation on my website. If you guys want to donate, you can donate a dollar or you can donate more than that to help me to build everything that I need for my, all my rescued horses. I'm putting a, a heartbreaking video together of all the, the horrible journey that Thunder had to go through. And also uh, Lulu and Luca are rescues as well. They were uh, on 10,000 acres near the border of Mex Mexico where this older Mexican dude basically gave me the donkey. He didn't want her. So I, I took her and she was skinny. So I just want them to have the best land ever. I guess somebody's asking me more food questions. Right. Other videos are playing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. And I'm, I'm also looking for a Jack Russell puppy. So if anybody knows of a long haired, one eye Jack Russell, Anybody, please go to my website and email me. Or I'll start trying to put an email in the thing below. I want a Jack Russell puppy. 
so it can grow up with my horses. Okay. Uh, PB Muster said I added 20 to 25 carbs a day. Now, is it total or net? Blood sugar is coming down now. Mm, what kind of carbs did you consume? And what about, it's not just about your glucose, what's happening to your ketones? Uh, Christina says I ate a lot of liver and now I have high B12. Yeah. So this is very, like I said, it's not dangerous, but your B level B12 and a lot of people have B12. We just eat steak. So carnivore people don't talk about this kind of stuff. You have to fix that gut wall. You have to get sleep. You have to digest your meat properly. You have to have enough stomach acid to digest all these foods. Uh, or, or, or meats. Okay. Hey, can you put a deer in your freezer every year? Uh, you can put a deer in, yeah. So Rebecca, I love Rebecca. This woman is the, I mean, like Rebecca, she hunts, she flies planes. She, I mean, she's got horses. She, she's like my hero. She doesn't know this, right? I, I, I watch her stuff on Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, if I can just be as strong as Rebecca. But, you know, I was raised in, as a city girl, so I'm trying to get it out of me, Rebecca. Rebecca's just the shit. <gasps> if I could just take that, what was it? What's it called? That pure grit that she has and put that in me, I'd be so friggin'. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. You're just like. Man, when I look at her, your art is, I cannot believe you're not like in galleries. This woman's art is sick. Like, I don't understand. And she's beautiful too. You know, when somebody's like a woman who's beautiful, who can go out and hunt and freaking ride a horse. And she's like amazing artist and fly planes, like the ultimate woman. Rebecca is the ultimate woman. Legit. Ultimate. If I could just learn from her. I'd be solid on my 10 acres, <laughs> but she's been around. She's been following me for a while. She's seen me when I was living in Hollywood. <sighs> yeah. Um, veggies and a, but there's all kinds of vegetables, right? There's, there's yellow squash, there's cruciferous vegetables, which are more fibrous, low in carbohydrates. I don't know which one you're doing. Grandma wants to know where to see your art. It is the sickest art ever. She draws like bison and stuff. Like it's just some of the most beautiful art I've ever seen. Like, I don't understand why she's not a famous artist. I, I don't understand. And like, this is like, I think a hobby for her. She's like incredible. Like it's, it, it's sick. Matt, you guys, I don't know. You've got to go and follow her on Instagram. She's just so amazing. Steph is simping. Hi, Steph. How, how, bleh, about to cook some liver and ribeye for dinner. Call it Stephanie's mountain. Yeah, Jeff, it's my mountain because I love mountains. I love mountain. Now, the place that I moved to is South Tennessee near the Alabama border. So it's got the massive, I don't mean like small rolling hills. I mean, they look like mountains, but they're hills. I live there. So there's a lot of trail riding where I live. I really was wanting to go to the Smokies, but not yet. I, I got to learn the skills that Rebecca has. Like, I can't do it yet. I got to learn her skills. And Rebecca says, nah, Stephanie, you're an inspiration to me. Well, we're inspiring to each other. She's just, like, amazing. Like, I just, there's not that many women that impress me as much as Rebecca does. She doesn't know that, but I'm, I'm telling you now. You see, how do you get minerals? I'm craving soil. <laughs> um, like I said, liver is chock loaded with minerals. Um, you can also get uh, minerals out of certain uh, cruciferous vegetables. You can get them out of avocado to get your uh, potassium. You can get it from the sea. There's a lot of minerals in seafood. So, yeah. See, B Encourage says, I want to put my Hashimoto's into remission. The doctor is giving me 60 days. Otherwise, they're forcing me on thyroid. They're not, honey, don't. Okay? 
No one is supposed to be on thyroid medication now. It gets a little it gets a little hairy when people have had their parathyroid radiated. Um, but if you if you're just dealing if you just have Hashi's hyper or hypo and you flip back and forth, you can get off this medication, but you've got to work like you are training for the Olympics of your life. Like what's about to happen to us in six months. Ain't nobody prepared for it. By the way, if anybody wants to sign up for a consultation, my calendar is open. I was like full booked. And then I went off to every, this happens every time I travel. People think that I'm full booked because the calendar is booked. It's open guys. So if you need help, book a consultation. I've got different rates on there. Spirulina and chlorella for what? Like heavy metals? You just got to find these algae ponds that don't have a lot of garbage in it. So be careful with that. Rebecca says, hope to be as strong as you when I'm in my 50s. Thank you so much. I've learned a lot from you. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I, wa I watch her videos on her stories and stuff. I'm like, oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I have so much to learn as a country girl. Uh, I was going to ask if you think that the land will come in handy in a few months. What? If it will what? If it will. I think the lamb will come in handy. It'll come in handy the second the moment the move the day I move there. I'll have my horses run around. When it rains a lot, the creek fills up. It doesn't overflow because it's actually a drainage system, but it's like a creek and it's fresh water. And uh it's soil tested so I can build a well on the on the land. And um I've been trying to do this whole thing on the cheap because I am not rich. I am not Dr. Berg. I am not Thomas DeLauer. I'm not any of them because I don't do any of the things that those people do to make money. I'm very humble. My channel is very humble, but the information you will get here will be the most useful. That I promise you. Brazil nuts for selenium. No. Seafood. And liver. Don't use Brazil nuts. Phytic acid. Nope. Mycotoxins. Nope. Everyone in my family has belly fat and well, we, we all eat healthy and low carb. Any tips? Well, PB mustard, what you think is healthy. Like one of these people are saying like, I'm going to eat a bunch of fruit. Like it's it, it, fruit flour and stuff. It may not be healthy. You know, some people have leaky gut. Some people aren't absorbing their, their nutrients. Some people have high histamine to certain foods and they keep eating the wrong foods, which jacks their gut up. So, people people don't have their biliary system they're not pooping they're constipated there's all types of reasons why people think that they're healthy and they're not like the place i'm staying now the landowner he's like oh my wife you know she's really healthy and i'm like mm -mm. sorry i'm like what you guys think is healthy and what actually your body needs that is healthy is not the same like some people can eat whole eggs many people can't uh well you see rebecca has a youtube i think yeah because she's commenting with youtube so she does i don't know if she posts on I, i'm watching her on instagram and on facebook uh see rebecca people are already interested in your art it is the best art ever i'm just every time i see it i'm like what the hell like how how can be so someone be so talented and so humble way more humble than i am okay um I see the point in being self-sufficient. You are my, you are on your way. It seems yes, I'm on my way. I will be moving there in a couple of weeks. I'm so scared because the things aren't fixed yet. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to find a three-horse trailer. Does anybody know of a three-horse? I can't find one. It's the it's the only thing stopping me from being able to get there. Uh, keto carnivore for Hashimoto's, please. Yes. Uh, also email your, uh, also email your, for your consultation, please be encouraged to go to just go to stephanieperson.com. You can sign up for a consultation there. You can look at the calendar and pick a time and sign up right now. I don't really have afternoon times for those who want afternoon times. Just email me through the site and I will put you off, off, um, like the reason why I don't is because I do my lives in the afternoon and I go feed the horses. So, but I'll, I'll squeeze you in. 
just go to my website, stephanieperson.com. I'll put it in the show, note, show notes below when I get back to my RV. And um, you can book a consultation from stephanieperson.com right there. Um, I've had muscle twitching for months. Oh, you are definitely uh, Alberto. Your electrolytes are jacked. You're probably not getting enough magnesium and water. Uh, how much veg per meal? Uh, about a cup. Not butter cup, but but a cup. <laughs> a cup. Should we be concerned about carb content in cruciferous vegetables? No, not at all. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. My name is Ashley. Thank you. Okay, Ashley, just go to my site and we'll get you in. And I'm really, I hate to say this because it sounds so narcissistic. I know my shite. And I'm not selling you a bunch of, just eat a bunch of meat with some salt and you'll be fine. It doesn't work like that, right? Or just intermittent fast and that'll regulate your insulin. It doesn't work like that. People have got hypoglycemia. Like this, some people have got the Hashimoto's and thyroid issues. You can't just go and follow what these gurus say. Everybody is individual with individual problems. So if fasting worked for, for this person, chances are 99.9999% of everybody else it's not working for. So be very careful. Mike Mutzel, he just put out a video saying why I'm not fasting anymore. And he was the OMAD guy. He was the one meal a day guy. And he interviewed me for his channel. And I just saw it pull up on my YouTube why I don't fast anymore. I'm like, oh, I knew it. I knew that was good. You just give it time. Give it a couple years. Give it a couple years and people finally go, this is not healthy. And then we get to know the truth. Just like carnivore, keto died when it got too trendy. Carnivore is going to die because people are going to get sick on it. Somebody said on my channel the other day, I did keto and got sick. I'll never do it again. I'm like, yeah, because you followed the trend. Somebody told you that it was easy. You did it wrong and you jacked yourself. So you guys got to be careful. And that's why my calendar is open. I also offer a course at 15 bucks a month. You can go to stephanieperson.com and sign up for that. And yes, I'm promoting myself right now because I'm moving three rescues to land that needs to be fenced. I don't care about me, just them. Hey queen, nice property. What's your take on lemon water? It's great, it's great. As long as you enter turmeric, if you do not have a histamine response, which a lot of you do, it is great to clear out the biliary, biliary duct system. It's great, the, the citrus helps get rid of the sludge and the stones out of some of these organs like the liver and the kidney and the gallbladder. What causes dark skin under the eyes? Uh, it's a combination of things. It's uh, chronic dehydration, poor kidney filtration, poor sleep, toxic exposure. It's a couple things. And not pooping. Yes. Toxic soup. So, oh, uh, oh, talk about what's happening in the future. I am moving in a couple weeks. My only thing that's holding me back is the, is the freaking three-horse trailer. I cannot find one. They won't allow me to rent them to go out of the state. They're only for the in the state. I need a three horse trailer, damn it, son. Get out of here. I want out of here into my property. But yeah, I mean, the self sufficiency of being on your own land is going to come in handy during the in, uh, incoming world economic. Yes. Because I live near the Amish and the, the, I'm hiring a man to drive my RV. He's a total hillbilly from Alabama. He's like, darling. He's a white hillbilly. He's like, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you because we've been talking, correlating that, that we, I got to have a driver for the animals, a driver for the RV. And then I'm pulling in a trailer, all my stuff that's in storage. And I just can't find a damn three horse trailer. But with that said, how can I get enough magnesium through carnivore? You can't, you have to supplement it. Everybody does. No one can get it. Supplement glyc glycinate. Boom. For under Damn, this stupid thing keeps, dang, this thing keeps glitching. I'm trying to get out of here. What should fasted blood sugar be? Mine, well, mine was 90s, now it's 70s, now it's 80s. Find out what your ketones are and get back to me. Because you can have 70s and be hypoglycemic. You can have 70s and be fully adapted and have energy like Steph and be good to go because your ketones are up. How many pounds of meat a day do you eat? I don't eat pounds of meat. I eat under a pound of meat. That's insane to eat a pound. I don't even, I might even, I don't even eat a half a pound of meat, I think, a day. Or, or it's 16 ounces as a pound, and I'm eating. Oh, 
three ounces, I'm probably eating a half a day, if if that. Okay, I better go, guys. Thank you so much for joining today's live stream. Don't forget to like up the stream. And it was fun. This was fun. It was really fun to be able to use StreamYard to be able to show you some pictures and videos. And um, uh, thank you for the donation. I forgot who it was. Thank you for the donation. And um, I'm going to have to do how to fix the gut in, 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 in a series. It's just too much. One more question. Frack versus fluck. Well, sometimes frack feels right, but then fluck sounds closer to uck. Up you. It sounds closer to that. Closer to that. One more. Okay, I already read that. Yeah, I would love to drive for you. That's what I do. Are you serious, Mike? Yeah, but it means, I gotta work it out. I worked it out. It's cost about like a thousand bucks for the gas. I might need a driver. If I paid for gas, where do you live, Mike? I'm in Texas, South Texas. I would, I'm still trying to get another driver. I've got like three maybes. I'm trying to secure another driver. Just Mike, series a bit. Mike, Mike, you don't live close to here, I don't think. Because uh, it's 700, I think it's how many miles. I think it's seven. I don't know. I just know the gas is going to cost me about a grand. To hire a driver costs three grand. I'm running out of cash. Stuff's not rich. I'm no Dr. Bird. I'm no Thomas DeLauer. I'm no Michaela Peterson. But I probably have a lot of information that's more realistic than all of them. Um, yeah. No, I haven't heard of Dr. Jen Daniels now. I think a lot of these people have like snapshots of good information. Gabe Hernandez by Steph, or he says by Steph, by Gabe. Bye. Um, I think that some of them have like snapshots of good information, but to really to be fair when you're dealing like people are asking about like you know thyroid nodules in comparison to like is my blood sugar in the 70s okay you got to really understand more than just one area of health you got to know it all no if i had a certification in nutrition i'd be telling you to eat crackers and eat carbs every two hours with some orange juice hell no although i'm putting together a certification course so you guys can learn how to do this the right way I'm in Georgia. Drive, uh, you drive for a living. Well, that doesn't work. I need someone to drive to Texas. Rebecca Knight, where can I find you? Karen, look, Rebecca, all these people want to see your art. She's so humble. She's not that kind of person. I would love her to put her stuff down. I think it's her, just her name, right? If you look at look for her name on, on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, you jacks, I get my information from people because I've been doing this longer. I hate when people sound arrogant. I've done it the most and I've done this. I don't want to sound like hump, but with the T, I don't want to sound like Mr. Hump. I'm the best. I'm the best. I do everything the best. I hate when people do that crap. I'll just say I've been doing this a long time. I've been coaching. I definitely have been coaching all this longer than anyone else, except for Maria Emmerich. That's it. I mean, over 6,000 people. I've just been around. I'm a dinosaur on this thing. People are finding new people and be like, oh, I go to this person and that person. No. No. All right. Thank you, everyone. I am, a, my computer's going to die in two minutes and I want this thing to upload. You still need a, a scientific support to your claims. That's a joke. You're, you're, you're laughing. You're, you're, you're lying, right? Scientific claims. I, I can't with this. You jacks, sometimes you're nice. Sometimes you say the dumbest things in the world. The dumbest things. Everything that I say in every video, go look it up. Okay? Then come back at me. Otherwise, I better go. Thank you, everyone. That's when I start sounding like a smartass. 
All right, guys. Thank you, everyone, for today's live. It was really fun. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Joseph says, keto goddess, cauliflower, good on keto. Yes, I make mine in mac and cheese. Don't use mac and cheese. No, that's bad. Cheese is just super inflammatory. Um, and if you don't believe me, you jacks, go eat a pound of cheese. Okay, you don't think you should, she, what? You don't think you she faster on carnivore than keto? What? You don't think you she faster on carnivore than keto? I don't know what you mean by that. People nowadays use the word science with credibility and cultism. cultism. Myth, what is it? Meth, meth, did you, how do you say this thing? This, Sela? I know, I'm about to picturing the name. People use science today in a cultism way. They're brainwashed to people. Like, look at the way they talk about getting all this stuff on your shoulders and, oh, do this and stick your finger up your butt and bark like a chicken and work and don't work and you can't and you got to fly on the plane and and all of they use the word S. Stop. You're killing me. Killing me. No, it's the fact, you Jackson, that humans are stupid. We all make everything scientific. You have a vegan doctor saying that science, this is science, and then you have a carnivore doctor saying this is science. Which
Oh my God, guys. Oh, my computer died. Damn it, my computer died. Oh, guys. And we got to do the big reveal on my new truck that I that I worked on at the shop. Oh, boy. That was stressful. I was like cortisol crazy. I'm going to end this live. I was trying to log back into my stream yard. And then it, I had to go get like a verification code to get it on my phone. Oh, my God. That was so stressful. I started sweating. All right. I can't believe there's 25 people stayed. <laughs> uh, do I think you age faster on keto or carnivore? No, that's a weird subjective question. You don't age more. But I'm going to end this stream because I I think it's still ticking, but I still think I'm going to end it. If you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. If you want to book a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. Um, my Instagram is stephaniketogenic. And uh, that was really stressful. My computer just died. I knew it was going to die, too. So stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can get back the live on my phone. Yeah. Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram. -y. My Facebook is Stephanie the Business Person. And I'm out. If you want to donate, go to my website for the fur babies to help get that fence up. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, that was really stressful. Probably for like three minutes, you just see dark, right? On my live. It probably just went, went to black because my stupid computer died. Funny, she cuts off right as she's talking about it. Cult uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm not going to say the words. Um... Best values, hands down. Been listening and following Stephanie for a decade now. Dang, for a decade. I've been around for a long time, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it went black because my dumb, stupid computer died. Because Well, I'm the dumb idiot because I didn't bring my charger to my laptop. Living like this and trying to do lives and in a town where I've never seen such horrible cell phone connections, internet connections. It's been really challenging the whole entire year. If anything moving, I'll be able to actually sit in my own RV and do lives without any problem in the very close to near future. That really sucked. I was like, dang it. <laughs> I'm so tired too. Okay. Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining this live stream. Sorry, Jamie, Torrance, I'm about to bounce out of here. And appreciate the 20-something people that stuck around going, where did she go, this silly woman who talks with a big mouth? Um, but thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. And I'm out. I'll try to do it live again tomorrow when I bring my cord. Peace. Bye, guys. Thank you, Joseph. I really appreciate the kind words and everybody else for joining today's live.